Hello, this is O Morgan from omorganstudios.com. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about color systems. We have the red, green, blue color system, which is how light interacts, and then we have the cyan, magenta, yellow, black system, which is how inks interact. RGB this is how Sketchbook Pro is set up. Default. And like I said before, monitors, TVs, projectors, anything that emits its own light from like a light bulb or LED, it's using the RGB system because that's how light interacts. CMYK is how inks interact. Pigments, you're mixing paints and inks. So that makes you think of inkjet printers. If you're putting ink on t-shirts. If you're painting an oil painting. Okay. CMYK. It's an optional, the reason why I wrote option Sketchbook Pro on Mac, they have a system setting where one can change to CMYK. So I'll put here Sketchbook Pro Mac only. But never fear, for Windows users, if you want CMYK and to work in CMYK, just download a color bar like here here oh that's not too good and here use the eyedropper to select colors like so. You can also you can also convert use a converter online converters to convert to um, from from RGB to CYMK but there's a drawback all colors in RGB do not fit into CMYK. As you can see here, the CMYK colors are a little duller than the RGB colors. So as a rule of thumb, neon colors, bright colors, fluorescent colors, they won't convert well when you go from RGB to CMYK. We're still talking about RGB. I'm going to do a little demonstration here. We start with a black background and we have red light. And then next we shine green light on top of it. We get yellow. If we then shine green light on top of that, we get cyan and magenta. In the middle, where all light crosses, we get white light. And just in the background, it's just the absence of all colors. So we have C uh, Y M K and then we have red oh, can't see that green and blue so going from R G B to C M Y K 50-50 may work. Okay. Colors dull when you go from RGB to CMYK. But if you go from CMYK to RGB, 
you can always do that. Okay. So let's talk about CMYK for a second. CMYK, as I said before, that's how inks and paints, that's how they that's how they interact. Okay. Wait, let me see. gotta do something here. Ink, paint. So in your high school class, or maybe your first year of college, they talked about the three primary colors, red, yellow, blue. And when you mix red and yellow, you get orange. You mix yellow, blue, mix green. And you mix red and blue, you get purple. And then it, they went a step further by saying complementary colors, colors on opposite sides, they produce brown. And I remember my art teacher she used to tell me, okay, Auburn University, the school colors, they're orange and blue, which makes brown. Red and green, those are Christmas colors. And yellow and purple, those are Easter colors. All complementary colors. Complementary colors, they contrast. They make brown. Okay? And here's a basic set of pigments one would use if you're like an oil painter or in acrylics or anything like that, watercolor. I think these are like oil paint colors. The ivory black, I think that may be acrylic. Anyway, you're mixing colors and making colors. So this is classic color theory, classic. So after a few years, I don't know when this happened, but we went in, we got into the modern color theory. Someone figured out that red, yellow, red, yellow, blue weren't actually primary, the primary colors in the purest sense of the word. If we use cyan, magenta, and yellow, we can get red, blue, and green. So these are actually, in terms of modern color theory, these are the real primary colors. Because you mix, this is like, this is what I call my little panda color chart because it kind of looks like a panda. You see, you see, got the eyes and the nose and the big cheeks like, like a panda. Anyway, you mix cyan and magenta, you get blue. And you get purple, depending on how much magenta is put in the mix. You mix magenta and yellow, you get orange, red, and if you put a little bit of black, you get brown. Cyan and yellow, you get a light green and a dark green. Okay, so this is the modern color theory. The primary colors in the purest sense of the word cyan, magenta, and yellow and if you recognize these are your ink jet ink jet cartridges like the colors alright one last thing warm colors and cool colors Roy red, orange, yellow those are your warm colors and GB of those are your cool colors so that'll help you when you're trying to figure out different color schemes and things. Okay, O'Morgan Studios, I hope you learned something and keep drawing.